Welcome back, family. We got a monster of a video for you. I am going to go over a boatload of stocks and tell you which ones are the best stocks to buy now, which ones are the best stocks to short now, and on top of this fan favorite, how can you get free charting software and a bunch of free stocks? Well, I'm going to talk about that right now. For those who have not done it, I have the Moomoo Moo link down below. Right now, if you use my link, you get five free stocks for putting 100 bucks in. If you put a grand and you get all of it 15 free stocks check this out you get what do we got limited time offer 8.1 that's it 5.1 percent plus the extra three percent apy for three months that's fantastic where are you going to get 8.1 that's just crazy but the biggest thing about this i wanted to share this with you is you get the charting software family everybody always says mo i don't want to pay for the software to go ahead and do the bread recipe well here it is you now can download it download Moomoo, use the link below, put a hundred bucks in, you get the charting software for free, the EMAs, the RSI, the Bollinger Bands, you can set them all up. Now for those in the stock mode course, I do have a video on a walkthrough of this on how to do that. That is over there. If you are not a part of the course, get over there. The coupon expires in less than a week. And so code CASH, C-A-S-H, at checkout will save you a bundle. You get access to the technical analysis course and lifetime access to the updates to this course in the course Discord. Family, that's what it's about. Now, we wanted to take a look. Well, let's first start with the market. The market's up this year 5.84% year to date. That's crazy. 5.84% in a little over a month. Now, where do we go though? Is there more money to be made? I don't know, but you guys have a list of stocks you are interested in. I am gonna pull them up and we're gonna get started. Here we go, starting with CYBN. Is it the best stock to buy now? Is it the worst to buy now? I don't know, but I'm gonna share it with you. All right, this is a penny stock. Is it one of the best penny stocks to buy now? I would argue no, it's not even close. This thing's riding under the 50. It tested the 50, bounced right back down. Absolutely not one of the best stocks to buy now. Uh, it is a penny stock that usually has a lot of pressure anyways when they're penny stocks, but this one is extremely bearish. Good RSI for the bears, and it's right below the 50. So not a fan of that one. Moving on to the next one, P-A-R-A. -A. Let's pull that one up. P-A-R-A, -A. what do we got? Is it one of the best stocks to buy now? Well, I'll tell you this one. This is an interesting one. We did get above, but we kind of went sideways on that, that RSI, but it is above the 50. We broke the Bollinger Band. It usually takes three to four candles to consolidate, but what I don't like about this is we broke it, and then it came all the way back down, went up again, back down, filled, just starting to fill that gap. It's not good. So I don't like this one. I'm not like, oh, wow, it's kind of reversing. Yeah, but it's running right back down. Was this a, a, a case where we break the 50? We're down here. We break above the 50 and we come back below the 50. If anything, I'd want to see where this goes for a couple of days just to see if we bounce off the 50 and run. If we do bounce off the 50 and we start to run, I would feel much better about it. If we do go below the 50, and you see this come down to the 50, confirm below the 50, I absolutely would be buying the puts or shorting it. So that's my opinion on how to handle that stock. Next, H-U-B-C. Is it one of the best stocks to buy now? Or is it one of the worst stocks to buy now? Uh, let's find out. All right, so another penny stock. You guys always put a lot of penny stocks in there when I ask. I'm always like, hey, family, go ahead. Let me know what stocks you're interested in. I always get a list of penny stocks. All right. So you guys can tell right now you have the RSI looking very, very nice for the bears, 42.7 on that. Uh, as you can see right now with the EMAs, very nice. Everything's going as a bear trend should. So this is absolutely one of the best stocks to personally, I would say short or uh, buy put options on just because of the trend. Now it could reverse at any given time. That's always a warning I have out there for people. But from what I'm seeing right now, very bearish. Next on the list, what else you got? Shop. Let's go ahead and remember one. You only can put one out there. One stock family, one stock. Shop. Let's take a look at shop. Shopify. Yes, Shopify. Look at the difference here. I've shown you the penny stocks that are absolutely crushing down. This is the opposite. You got a very nice company rolling up sweet 
Just look at this, very bullish. RSI dipped down to 50, instantly came back up, relieved some of that pressure, shake the tree, get rid of the puts, and then it's off and running again. So at this particular moment in time, I would be very bullish on Shopify. You have a great RSI right now at around 58.51. EMAs are good, we tested off the 50. I like it. Got a little bit of a tightening on the Bollinger Band, so that breakout strategy I teach over at the course could come into effect, so pay attention to that. Next on the list of the best stocks to buy now, NEO, is it oversold, family? Let's take a look. Uh, NEO, we are down at the low end, uh, 28.30 on the RSI, anything under 25, I get extremely nervous that it is way oversold. It could still drop more. We know there's weakness all over the Chinese stocks, including all of the EV stocks. So you're seeing uh, so much pain and misery in these EV stocks, and NEO is not to be spared. Uh, you can see we confirmed, and I warned about this over here, that the 13 was about to cross, and we could see an absolute sell-off of this stock, and it happened exactly that. Next stock on the list of best stocks to buy now. Let's go with the best growth stock to buy now. I'm going to pick SoFi. SoFi is one of them plays I absolutely play quite a bit. I'm in there. We've, we've gone long. We've gone short. We've done very well with this. Uh, at this particular moment in time, is it bearish? Is it bullish? Look at this. It blows up. Then it comes crashing back down under the 50. So it tested the 50, failed on the 50, and now is running south of the 50 EMA. So for me, this is extremely bearish. You're looking for a reversal on the RSI as well as the five and 13 and 50. We did not get it. We tried to, uh, I got burned on that one. I remember that play. Uh, we made a lot of money on SoFi on the way up, made money on the way down. And of course there were some mixed, some mixed results along the way after that. But at this particular moment in time, it is looking bearish. Now, a little bit of consolidation sideways here, so we'll see if this thing can break up. Uh, I would give it a few days, but at this particular moment in time, like I said, it tried to test the 50, failed back down. I would be bearish on this because you are looking at this as the market has been exploding higher. Uh, you are not being, you're not seeing SoFi being able to break above that 50, which is concerning to me. I believe if you have a market sell-off, some profit taking, that you would see outsized losses on SoFi. But if the market continues just to rally, to crush it, you will see SoFi eventually break this and be able to run up like we've seen in the past. So SoFi is one of them ones that can do magic double very in a very short period of time, but it also could drop dramatically as we've seen as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at AXL stock. Is this one of the best stocks to buy now or not? Uh, well, interesting one. I don't know this one. American Axle. Okay, so this has confirmed bullish. I like this one. Why? Because it's the bread recipe. We tested down the Bollinger Band. We tested under the 50 uh, EMA, and this was bullish going into that. It failed to hold under the 50. It is now back above the 50. You see it test on the 50 here as support. It does. It bounces back up. I would be bullish on this with the reversal of the bread recipe right here. RSI confirming above 50, EMA is going the right way. At this particular moment in time, I'd say the shaking of the tree to get those put options out uh, or everybody piling into the call options, I should say. This bounces down, you get them all out of there, it starts to build up again and you have normal pressure again with a very nice low RSI, good EMAs. I like it. This looks like a good stock. This looks like one it could be a winner. Uh, very nice. AMC, you know I got to do this. Is AMC one of the best stocks to buy now? Or is this one that had its day in the sun and we should avoid it? Let's take a look. AMC stock, is it one of the best growth stocks? Whoa, whoa. I got to call this one of the best penny stocks at this moment, family. I hate to say it because we're down sub five. Anything under five is a penny stock in my definition of stocks. And the RSI is way down there. You can see the RSI. Uh, last time we dipped down there, it did recover a little bit. And we went from 405 all the way up to about 484. So that was about 20% gain, but it dropped instantly afterwards. You are holding right here. It finally dipped below that support that we have seen. And now you are down to 401, a new low. The AMC absolutely getting crushed. So uh, I'm bearish on this, but the RSI is completely down there at 27.68. Anything under 25 is oversold. And we're getting near that oversold territory. I would be fearful. Uh, I don't see this running up there to 100, 200, 300, of course. 
but there is always the possibility of a big move up of 20 to 30 percent any given day with AMC we we are with uh, AMC you know how that's that happens so we'll keep an eye on it but that my friends is very very bearish uh, we'll do another one how about can you do analysis on MU you got it let's go ahead and take a look at MU Micron Technologies uh, this is a little different. You had a little bit of high pressure up here and you can see it We got everybody buying it came back down back up. It goes and pressure gets up now You're back down on that RSI around 54, which is a solid one uh, Five tests in the the 13 where I don't think we're gonna drop below at this particular moment I like micron I would say short term this should be bullish long term as well that is a good sector to look into and this stock looks nice so you got a nice winner on your hand with this one i think that's going to be a good one now family i got to get you caught up to date on this if you haven't joined the stock mo patreon the link is down below get over there check out the new portfolio we are up eleven thousand seven hundred seventy seven dollars uh, in the first month, a little over a month. So we're in the first week of February. I started this with 100,000, made 11 grand in the first month. Market's only up 5%. I'm up 11.77% with the money I got invested, make that 29.81. We are doing well. And so I'm gonna see if I can turn that into a $100,000 worth of profit by the end of this year. Uh, there'll be ups and downs, of course. We'll see how it goes. But I think that is doubling the market return. If you actually go by the money invested, it is, oh, wow, five to six times the return so if you want to follow along with a new portfolio this is your opportunity get over to the stock squad as well that links down there you can follow all four of us me larry josh and keenan in one place and of course get down there and take advantage of the moo moo today get that trading software like i showed you right here and after that make sure you come over to the course join up code cash take advantage of it family that's what i got for you today if you want Put down in the comments below what stock you'd like me to review for the next Best Stocks to Buy Now video. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.